Welcome to Chuck and Travel. I'm Derek. I'm Cinnamon. Hey guys, this video is sponsored by Highfield Trip. <laughs> if you are interested in doing what we do and driving one of these trucks for a living, reach out to Highfield Trucking at the link and phone number in the video description. Let them know Truck and Travel sent you. Come on. Okay, our last load dropped off. If you watched our last video, you know, but if you haven't, our last load dropped off on Friday in Houston, Texas. Okay, we try to hang out there in Texas. Texas isn't really a great place for us to get out of. We hung out there for a little bit, and then we did head it up north to Tennessee. Not, you know, just past Memphis. You know what I'm talking about. All right, so we was hanging out up there. We didn't get a load until like late Monday. And this load picks up in Lockbourne, Ohio, so quite the deadhead from Texas. We'll, we're going to say the starting point was Texas because, you know, that's where we started out from. So we started out from Texas, went all the way to Lockbourne, Ohio, and then picks up there and then drops off. I gotta look at my list, sorry. Three stops, Fort Worth, Texas, <laughs> then West Columbia, <laughs> South Carolina, Jacksonville, Florida. That's a lot of freaking... A lot of miles for this, like zigzagging across the United States. All right, Cinnamon, tell us more about this load. Um, okay, so this load we actually, we bid on and yep. we were the only truck that could do it. Yep. And so... Uh, we since, got a great offer. We, yeah. Well, they we, accepted our bid. It was a great, yeah, for us did, it was great. Yeah, we did $7,500 for this load. And so we're like, Which is awesome. this is gonna be awesome because especially yeah. if we get another load after this for yeah. this week, it'll make this week fantastic. Yeah. So they Good. accepted the bid. And uh, as we're getting the information in, um, they actually canceled the first stop because since we're the only ones who could do it, we weren't gonna make the pickup time. So the pickup time had to be pushed further. So because of that, they didn't think that we'd have enough time to make it to the first stop in Texas and then go to South Carolina and then Florida. So it changed the pay and everything. So, which kind of stunk. Big so, time. Yeah. It, it, it really it happens though. Like yeah. you have to be able to adjust in this yeah. industry. It Some, happens. Sometimes what they'll do is uh, just push everything out. You know, not just, they, not take away a load, but a drop, you know. They, they'll just they'll make push. it the next day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they didn't do that. Instead, they took oh. it away. So, That's so big. this, with the two stops, it was three pieces, 955 pounds, and it was a temperature load, and it was in the warmer range, which, you know, is always great for us when we're going in the warmer area. Yeah. Especially when we have multiple stops, because that means after we offload, and then we have to close the doors and go to the next one, uh, it'll get up to temperature faster. It doesn't usually take long anyways, but it's that much more faster since it's around the, the range, like outside and stuff. So the temperature for this load is 22 Celsius, and in Fahrenheit, that is 71 degrees. Yep. So tell us about the miles, new miles. Well, before <laughs> I say that, I do want to say that this was like uh, some like some kind of surgical machinery or something freight that we was hauling around. So it's like stops that we're not familiar with. And yeah. so that's why we don't really talk about these cities too much. Is you know, specialty freight. That's what we do. We specialize in specialty freight. <laughs> All right, our loaded miles for this run was 807 miles. But if you include the deadhead all the way from Houston, Texas, we're looking at 1,966 miles total. Total miles. That that's gonna hurt. Okay, after that cancellation. <laughs> It would have been good pay, but Cinnamon, tell us what we ended up getting. Yeah, so seeing the difference between the deadhead and then adding the load, or the loaded miles and then adding the deadhead. So you can imagine that if you're just looking at the loaded miles, the pay is great. It's yeah. uh, $4.84 per mile. But because of all that deadhead that we had, um, it changes the rate to go all the way down to $1.98 per mile. Which so. isn't too bad, but we're going to a, another bad area. Jacksonville, Florida, that's where we're going to end up. So it's not too cool. Yeah. Oh, and the load uh, paid, uh, to the grand total for this load was $3,884.92. So yeah, pretty much ripped our pay in half that we originally bid. Yeah. All right, we're able to pick up, line up another load that picks up on Thursday over in Huntsville, Alabama, not too far from Jacksonville, Florida. 
and then it drops off on Friday in Cincinnati, oh. Ohio. Kind of disappointed that we didn't get that other pay for the first load, but Cinnamon, go ahead and tell us about this load. So this load is just one piece or pallet um, and it's only 65 pounds. So just a little tiny piece and <laughs> it is a temperature load. Uh, and so the set point for this is five Celsius or in Fahrenheit, that's 41 degrees. Yeah. So tell us about the miles, Derek. All right. The loaded miles on this one was 399 miles, but we got a lot of deadhead. Uh, since we're dropping off in Cincinnati, Ohio, we did end up going home afterwards. So you include the deadhead from Jacksonville, Florida, Huntsville, Alabama, then from Cincinnati all the way back to home around the Finley area, we're looking at 1,088 miles. All right, Cinnamon, tell us what the damage is. So uh, I do have to make sure I point out that when, it, when we say there's a lot of factors into this, this is one of them. Uh, it being that we wanted to have a load end the week in a good area. So we wanted to get back, you know, up to Ohio. And then on top of that, we also wanted to go home. And so the longer you stay out, if you're staying out at a, like a big chunk of time, there's more possibility of you making money too. Yeah, so yeah. There, those are other factors. So not a lot of people are going to have the same numbers with us. This is why. And so we like to kind of explain that too. But the, so, the good news is that we're ending, we're stopping on Friday in a good area, yeah, which sets us up good for Monday. Even when we go home, if we have uh, time left on the clock, we're, uh, we make ourselves available for lows. So if there is something and they're willing to pay us for it, we will do it. Yeah, So that's very true. Um, so the pay for the loaded miles uh, is $4.21 per mile. So that's wonderful what? pay, but... That's, that, that, yep, loaded miles, sorry, I got them mixed up. Yeah. I was thinking the other way around. Run miles, loaded miles, same thing. Um, but if you're looking at the pay for all the miles, so including the deadhead from Florida to Alabama and then afterwards to go home, uh, it drops it down to $1.54 per mile, which is not great pay at all. But when we add it together with, um, oh, well, I'll talk about that in a second. But so this load, it paid $1,677.95. But it got us home and in a good area. And it was just one pallet, just an easy thing. So. Oh, yeah. All right, Cinnamon, go ahead and tell them how we did this week. Okay, so as I was starting to say earlier, <laughs> um, so the the total miles uh, were 3,054 miles which for the a, entire week. Which is a lot, higher a than lot. our average. Yeah, um, so the pay for all the miles was $1.82 per mile. So if we would have had the first uh, stop not cancel and had that, like it would have been more it would on our mark yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, but the total pay for the week was five thousand five hundred and sixty two dollars and eighty seven cents so Which, if you're not familiar with with these um videos that we're doing we have personal goals that yep. we try and aim for so you can always uh have your loads according to whatever your goals are so for us what is it five thousand is minimum is our minimum goal we try to get at least, like to... at least five thousand a week but and it'd then, be awesome if we could hit seven. Right, and then our what we try and do is make all the miles for the week be at least two dollars per mile. Yeah, but if, if which we can didn't grow, happen this week, but there are weeks that we've gone over, you know, two dollars a mile. So ideally, we try to hit uh, twenty-five thousand gross to the truck every month. Yeah, that's the that's the ideal. Yep. Uh. All right, guys, now we're going to give a breakdown for our career so far, us doing these videos. All right, in this series. And I just wanted to say real quick, this is without a mentorship. Yeah. This is us doing it on our own. Yeah. And you'd be more successful if you'd use Highfield's mentorship. Yeah. In order to do it's that. It's available for all of their drivers, so. You got to be a driver. Right. Of theirs. Right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so far in our career, in the first 14 weeks, we've done a total of 44 loads. The total freight weight that we've done up to this point altogether is 46,936 pounds. That's a lot of weight. Yeah, it is. Oh. <laughs> All right, the total amount of pallets or pieces that we've put in the truck so far is 103. The average weight per load has been 1,066 pounds. 
0.7. The total miles <laughs> that we have done so far in these first 14 weeks is 35,927 miles. So the average mile per week that we usually have is 2,566. All right, our average pay per week so far is $5,683.40. The total gross that we've got to the truck at this point, you know, before expenses or anything, is $79,567.66. Which is pretty good. And now, our average pay per all miles that we've done in this first 14 weeks, we're averaging at $2.21. So even though this week was a low paying per mile week, it all averages out. So that's something else to think about. You're gonna have good weeks, you're gonna have bad weeks, you're gonna have really great weeks. Hopefully you don't have really bad weeks. Could happen. And even if you have a week like this, you just suck it up and you just keep going. Yeah. <laughs> like you can't let something like that bother you because stuff happens. You have to be able to adapt and just Suck it up, buttercup. Yes. Go inside the truck stop, get you some buttercups, and suck it up. Yeah. And some chocolate milk. And some chocolate milk. Butter I like strawberry cup. milk. And chocolate milk. <laughs> All the milks. All the milk. No, I don't like water. Well. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I appreciate you guys, you know, riding along with us, seeing how we did. We enjoy the comments, so please leave a comment down below. If you enjoyed the format of this video, please hit subscribe. And if you think somebody would benefit from this or enjoy it, you know, share it with them. That's yeah. cool, too. <laughs> God bless you guys, and we'll see you next time. On to the next one. On to the next one. <laughs> I remember this time. I know. I was going to say good job. I almost forgot. Good job, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Peace. <laughs> <laughs>